Now, this final quick take, fellas, or the ladies and gentlemen. We got the Suns. We got the Suns. And I got to say, I got to say, um, the Suns have been actually playing some good basketball. Like, yes, they've been playing some good basketball, okay? Like, D-Book, might we start needing to talk about him in the MVP discussion a little more? Top I mean, five, Buddy just five. dropped a casual, you know what I'm saying? He just dropped a casual 51 piece. Best like, shooting guard in the league. Reese got something to say about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these boys have been, like, this, these boys have been hooping, but not just on the offensive end, people. It's on the defensive end as well. They're one of the better defense. They're one of the better play uh, de- like two way teams in the NBA, and they're number one in the West. So, mm-hmm. Freddie, I gotta ask you: Are the Suns the real deal? Like, because remember, a couple seasons ago they went to the finals, right? And people were mm-hmm. saying, "Hey, you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna really." do anything and they surprise people then last season they kind of fell off are they the real deal now or this is this just the same team we saw last season well i guess the tough answer to that is we, we don't know until playoffs because they you know they won what 60 games last year was it or somewhere around, and then they just disappeared i don't have it in front of me but I'm, i got you i got you okay, okay. Yeah, talking, 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 got so was that? I said, like, keep talking. I got you. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they games, just, yeah. So they won on the games just to, we know what happened to them. So I was off. Um, you know, we did the uh, the early rankings, and I had the Lakers to the five seed, and them as like out of the playoffs. And then I had to come and apologize, and I'm still apologizing to this day because they look like a well-oiled machine, Chris Paul. I don't know where Chris Paul is right now, personally. He's been he's been injured. He's been injured. He has. Well, yeah, but that's my point. Like, I him and Kawhi Leonard must be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They tell him again. Uh, in, in his absence, campaign. In his absence, D Book is showing what D Book can be if needed. Um, they look amazing, and like you said, their defensive tenacity, their defensive game plan is so great. I feel like them, Toronto. Uh, and Dallas have similar defensive game plans, approaches with pretty much making you play left-handed in a sense, right? Uh, yeah. Making you play through your weaknesses, not yeah. allowing your superstar player to beat you. So, and he's been improved defensively. Um, I think they're the real deal, bro. I really do. Like, I'm very impressed with Phoenix, man. They've beaten some good teams even without Chris Paul. And De- DeAndre Ayton looking like he's getting a little more mature. That matters. I'm glad you said something about DeAndre because bro was it. looking... I was talking, I'm in, I'm in this group chat, um, and we were talking about, you know, the Suns and how D-Book might might be playing well, but Mikel Bridges is your number two. That might be a problem. I want to like, give him credit, too, because he's... I, I, no, no, you got to give him credit, because he's been playing extremely well, offensive and defensive. And someone was trying to say Mikel Bridges is not an elite defensive player, or not an elite two-way player. And I'm like, oh, whoa. God. Like, I, I may give you, like... On the offensive end, the word elite, okay. But like when you say defensive, that man's elite. I don't care what you yeah. say. Like, I, there's no, you know what I'm saying? But like, I guess I understand what they're trying to say. Yeah, he's yeah, I get, I get what defense, they're trying to but say. But like, offense may bring them when you, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Because you that, think about that, like Jimmy Butler, or Giannis, or, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, but still, this man's been putting up quality stats, but Thanks. he was out playing DeAndre eight and two, which I didn't Thanks. like. And now that DeAndre eight has been out playing him, the Suns, they I'm, I'm comfortable with the Suns again. They cool with me. They cool with me. Bro. So I, I I think they are the real yeah. deal too. Uh, the uh, I, I almost about to say the Warriors need to worry about the Suns, but for real, for the Warriors yes. need to worry about their damn selves because they need they just got back into the playoff ranks. So uh, yeah. but, you know, that, it, in Dallas, it is what it is. Hey, hey, but um, Fred, I if you got. If you got the time, because we're done with the quick takes, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I, I just had a quick question, fella. Um, are you a big Maya Moore fan? You know, I love Maya. You love Maya. I love All right, Maya well, Moore. Ladies and gentlemen. Done, man. Not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the 
back into the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I got to go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here, Tip.